Big update on durum wheat, which is used in pasta, of course. More warehouses refusing food deliveries that we're hearing from you guys about. Truckers being laid off en masse. And big problems with utilities across the United States that you need to hear about. Also, we're seeing insurance rates exploding upwards. More of you sharing more about that and a whole bunch of other reports coming from you guys from all around the world. Let's jump right into it. Welcome to the Poplar Report. I'm Steve Poplar. I'm an accountant. And uh, you guys send your information in on what you're seeing at your workplaces, the conversations that you're having with store managers, with people in the logistics supply chains, and we share this critical information with you directly. Uh, we do want to thank our sponsor, Genesis Gold. Um, Genesis Gold Group does a fantastic job moving people out of uh, stocks and bonds over to gold, silver, and platinum in their retirement accounts. If you have a retirement account that you want to get a little more stable and you want to find out more information about what that would look like, a gold IRA, a silver IRA, um, you can talk to Jonathan's team. There'll be a link at the end of this video. All right, so let's jump into bad weather in Europe and drought in Canada, as well as drought across a lot of the United States, too, uh, for the spring wheat. Uh, but this fall wheat is not looking good either. Canada has had their Durham wheat crop has been devastated by drought as well. And so what we're seeing is this wheat, Durham wheat, which is specifically used for, for pastas. So if you go to your store and you want to get your, uh, your spaghetti or you want to get your whatever pasta noodles, uh, most of that is going to be made out of Durham wheat. Uh, it's something about the protein level and something or something or other. I'm not, I'm not a physicist, uh, so I can't speak on that. We've got to get somebody in a lab coat to explain all that to us. But the short of it is, is they use durum wheat to make pasta. So the pasta shortage is looking like it's going to be coming back, or at the very least, we're going to be seeing a lot higher prices on pasta. We're already starting to see that take place in Europe. Uh, global production of durum wheat is headed for a 20 two year low. Am I making stuff up? Am I blowing things out of proportion? What happened in the last 22 years? Okay, that's a big chunk of a lot of our lives. And we know that in the past 22 years, a lot of things have happened, but this is the worst harvest in 22 years, not for one country, not for a few countries, for the entire world. Are we paying attention yet? So they are turning uh, to unusual suppliers such as turkey. Yes, uh, turkey is not a meat anymore. It is a grain source because it's a country, right? Anyway, Lewayne says um, home insurance rates are almost doubling. I changed our home insurance payments to monthly rather than yearly because we can't afford the giant payment at one time. Well, they readjusted our premium. It went from roughly $1,100 a year to $1,800 a year. Are we paying attention? I shopped for another policy. They quoted me at $4,000 per year. Yikes. Um, so my, if, you, if you're happy with your health, uh, home insurance or your car insurance or whoever, make sure you stay up on those payments because we're hear hearing a lot of reports out there of people getting canceled on their insurance rates, and then when they try to reapply, uh, they, they get quoted at a much, much higher rate. This is from Barbara. I was at a food pantry today, and they were giving out stacks of face masks, black fabric ones, and also insurance companies have started sending out the same. Are these things coming our way, or are they just trying to get us primed up so that they can take a, a different direction all of a sudden? Uh, I don't know, but something's coming our way. Something big's coming our way. Um, and it feels in some ways like the lead up to the original um, whole shutdown over the cough cough, right? Uh, I remember going out to the store weeks before and I was just loading up my shopping cart and I was just there. Like, I was a lot less prepared back then. And um, I, I was there like, this is what people are going to be doing in a couple weeks. I thought I, was, I thought I was like the bee's knees for having like two or three months uh, food stockpiled back then. But uh, uh, I, I felt unprepared for what was coming. And so I ran out to the store. It was weeks before everyone else started panicking. But I kind of saw what was coming. And we, we see stuff coming at us. So what are you going to do about it? Are you going to get prepared? Are you going to be ready for it? 
Um, Lone Star Penny has this to say. Last week, a family-owned company that owns shrimp boats and usually supplies a lot of suppliers around the country put out the word to the public on Facebook, please come direct to them and buy shrimp, medium and large at $3.50 a pound. They said that the customers they normally deliver to said they can't take any more because their freezers are full. Remember, we had the folks um, uh, who work with the freezer companies saying that all these freezers are breaking down and that's really causing a, a real big kink in the uh, supply chain and they can't repair these refrigeration units as fast as they're breaking down. So is it that they're full or is it that they have a lot of broken freezers? That's a question that we can throw into this mix anyway. But anyway, so they don't want to take any more delivery of food and we're hearing that from a number of truckers and such out there uh, in the last number of days, hearing that a lot of truckers are saying that they're spending all their time taking food from the warehouses back to the uh, producers of food because the warehouses are rejecting these orders. So evidently high priced shrimp is something people have cut out of their budget. So apparently people aren't buying it at the stores very much. Uh, people don't want to pay premium top dollar for shrimp when they're just trying to make ends meet. The price the grocer gets would make it too high for a lot of people. They were begging people to come direct to these uh, shrimpers, coming direct to them to buy. I thought that was very telling about where things are at now. This is from Nana Dot. I went to a local ruler, which is a Kroger brand store, and was shocked by all the empty shelves and open spaces. Very little canned fruit and also short supply of canned veggies. This was Bedford, Indiana. We're t I've been saying this uh, from what you guys have been telling me. Uh, we got the, the, canned, the canning metal has been uh, tariffed and there's a lot less of it coming into the country. So can, canning companies are cutting back on their staff. We're hearing that from you guys. Uh, that those of you who work at companies that do canning, they're cutting back production significantly. Uh, and we're hearing from truckers that these stores uh, like Walmart and such are rejecting these orders of canned goods and also that people are stealing canned good trucks for whatever reason. Um, this is from Dragon Mom from Topeka, Kansas. Just went to the neighborhood Walmart. The generic brands of all kinds of food were wiped out. We're hearing that, right? People are buying the generic now more because they're on a tight budget. Prices are up so much that people are having to choose uh, whether to get this product or this product and they're going with the cheaper generic versions and there just isn't enough generic to go around. There was only one bag of flour, 25 pounds. It was expensive, we passed on it. The only big bags of beans available were Pinto had to settle on two small bags of navy beans. Uh, there were name brands uh, of rice, but no generic rice. The hamburger helper of all kinds was wiped out. No generic available. Uh, I'm seeing that in stores here too. Uh, beef was cost prohibitive and a few cuts were available. Uh, bottled water was also not stocked very well. Moving over to Texas. This is Fred in Dallas, Texas. Uh, son is a refrigerated truck driver out of Florida, though. He pulled into the Dallas terminal in Texas yesterday and required minor truck maintenance. When the supervisor was inside his truck, he was fired for having trash in his truck. Other truckers uh, were, laid, were getting laid off, too. Apparently, the company was offloading drivers by any available reason. So, obviously, if they fire you, you don't, they don't need to pay you... Uh, they don't need to pay you anything for uh, unemployment, that type of thing. Whereas if you get laid off, they, they're more responsible for that. So that's just a dirty way of doing that, uh, looking for reasons for firing. Uh, Rob in Western Washington on the plateau. I went to the local Costco yesterday. I have never seen it anything but well stocked. Yesterday I was stunned when I went into the dairy area. It was half full. Uh, there were still items, just not many of them. The baker only had one type of bread made and it was out. The other baked goods were there, 
uh, just not as many also. The clothing area was packed with items of all sizes, not as much rice as there had been either. Uh, have the shortages finally hit the West Coast. So a lot less food available at Costco, but they still have all the clothing, all the, all the other stuff out there. Uh, on to it, Aussie says, Aldi is low on tinned corn. That's their way of saying canned, right? Tinned corn and no tinned tomatoes and no jars of beets. Potato products have all doubled in price. Frozen chips, one kilogram, and snack chips, uh, one, 175 grams, are both pushing $5 a bag, but in stock. Those are Aussie dollars, though. Um, rents are up average cost for a middle-range three-bedroom house of $2,000 a month. Electric and gas costs are ex excessively high. Uh, I'm in the wards, which is the hospital, right? Hospital wards. I'm in the wards. Uh, only a few uh, confirmations of the cough cough, but many in precautionary isolation. So even though you may not have the cough cough, we think you might have come in contact with someone who might have had cough cough. So we're going to isolate you in the hospital. Uh, precautionary isolation these last few weeks of winter. Uh, the expected influx of cough cough people uh, didn't happen yet. But I'm watching things very closely as I work directly with these people one-on-one uh, -on -one and every other and all the other infectious ones. Seems like smooth sailing on top, but the undercurrents, are, uh, talking about all of society, not just that, um, are there if you choose to see the reality of the current times. Sadly, many don't. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Sadly, many don't and won't. That's right, folks. Just uh, see what's coming. Trust the Lord. Trust uh, whatever you trust. You know, I'm, I'm a Christian, but uh, I know a lot of you folks are not. Uh, but, but find hope in what you can. Because you don't want to live in fear. Living in fear and being reactionary is not healthy and not a good place to be. Um, and you need to be getting more prepared, yes, but not living in fear. So be eyes open, but at the same time, uh, be be a, a positive force for good in all those around you. Uh, John says, the gas pipeline and storage company around Steuben County, uh, I believe this is in New York, I'm pretty sure it's New York, has shut down. The grid is designed to fail. Before, local, company, local utilities were required to have 125% of local peak demand generating capacity. So if this is how much peak uh, demand normally is, they had to have 25% excess above that. Uh, but under deregulation, local utilities became simply power deliverers. Customers bought power from producers thousands of miles away before coal was, uh, with fuel was stored on site uh, and that produced power but they switch that to gas coming on demand in a pipeline, right? So you used to have giant piles of coal sitting at the coal fire power plants. You used to have um, tanks of oil sitting next to the oil fired power plants. But now they have natural gas pipelines going to the, to the uh, natural gas pipe, uh, power plants and they don't have a lot of storage on site. And so what happens is if that pipeline goes down you know, the power generation stops too. Customers bought power from, uh, okay, but, but they switched that to gas coming on demand from a pipeline bef uh, before it was, uh, it was put into uh, compressors and stored, but the EPA refused to allow that and now most gas is pumped through the pipelines by electricity. Uh, thus the gas, uh, the grid has become designed to fail. Lose gas from the pipeline and you lose power. Lose power and you lose the gas in the pipeline, right? You see that circle? It works as long as it's working, but then uh, if it stops, you can be in a world of hurt. And we, uh, this is from Titus Girl in Centerville, uh, Utah. Walmart completely out of cottage cheese and cream cheese. Was told that they had been out for a while and didn't know when they'd get more. Cottage cheese and cream cheese. 
we're seeing some of those shortages popping up all over. Please do keep your reports coming in. Um, just use the word update on any comment on any one of the videos on this channel uh, to get the right place. Give us some sort of geographical location so we know roughly about where you are. Um, and if you want to check out Jonathan and his team over at Genesis Gold Group, get some more information. There's a, a form. Uh, you click on that link right there, get to a form, and you can fill out your information and they'll send you a packet of information. If you want to check out another video from this channel, there's one right up here. Thanks so much for watching. Steve Poplar of the Poplar Report, out.